So I feel like one of the hardest things about getting new plants is finding good pots for them, whether you use it as a cash pot or whether you plant directly into the pot. And it's definitely something that I've had a hard time with with some of my plants as well. So I've gathered up all my favorite pots and kind of found links to similar ones or even the same ones on Etsy and just other websites like that to try to provide you guys with like a resource for good pots because I know you guys have asked me where I get my planters and all that sort of stuff. And although I don't want to leave you high and dry just saying that I get them in store at nurseries, I wanted to find something um, that lets you guys shop a bit and find things that you like as well. So let's hop into it. So one of my favorite resources to even look at pots, although I haven't ordered online quite yet, just because I haven't had the need to yet, um, but I've noticed a lot of my pots have um, like sellers that sell these on etsy so i have quite a few face pots and i feel like those are a bit harder to come by in store at nurseries but they actually have a lot of good options on etsy and i have for instance this small one right here it's got a little face on the front um and there's a seller on etsy that actually sells three different types of them but it's one that i've only seen in one store and um it's got drainage in the bottom too so i've planted directly into this pot but just things like that you can totally find on etsy and all that sort of stuff like I have also this kind of sculptural one, um, also found the same exact one on Etsy I believe as well, and that's one, it doesn't have drainage, but it's quite deep so you can easily put like rocks and stuff like that in the bottom to mimic drainage. And then I've also got this like cement style one as well, um, and I actually found this one on Etsy and on Amazon, but I trust the Etsy seller a bit more just because the pictures and the reviews looked a bit more reliable. Um, but they also have them in several different colors. So that's just a great option for um, pots that you see that you like. You can easily search it up anywhere and then you can find different colors of those pots. And if you're anything like me, you probably have a lot of earth tones and just neutral toned colored pots. Um, and a lot of times I gravitate towards those pots and I can't stop myself, but there's a lot of good pots that have a lot of color in them. And I tried to branch out, especially in the last like couple months and find pots that are a bit more colorful and that add a bit more life into the space. So it's not just like a bunch of white pots and a bunch of gray pots and all that sort of stuff. So I have um, my Oxalis, which is asleep right now because it's nighttime, is in this pink pot. And there's actually um, another seller on Etsy and um, they have several different sizes of this exact same pot. And this one is a good one. It doesn't have any drainage. Um, I don't know if the seller on Etsy has drainage on theirs because they can easily add it. This is a pretty good size for just the regular four inch um, pots that you get from like nurseries if you're using this as a cash pot. Um, this one's sticking out a bit at the top because I have something in the bottom to prop it up a bit more. Um, so it's easy to grab out and all that sort of stuff. But this is one that I did successfully find online um, that I did originally, I originally got this one out of like a physical nursery. So I did find this one online and there are several sizes. So you guys can check that out too. Another great resource for finding planters and just cheap pots in general, um, is actually Ikea. And I just barely checked them out, like not too long ago, about a month ago or so and i found this really pretty blue pot and like i said it's a bit out of my comfort zone as far as colorful goes because i don't really have a lot of colorful pots but this is one of the first ones that i added into my collection other than like i have a yellow and a pink and all that sort of stuff but um i'm pretty sure this was only like a couple dollars because ikea is quite cheap and i feel like everybody has ikeas around them so um, that's definitely something that if they do have a plant section, which I think all Ikeas do, even if they are fake plants, they will have some sort of pottery there too. So just keep your eye out for that. And then another place that you wouldn't really expect pots to be at, and you wouldn't really think like, oh, I'm gonna look for pots here or anything like that, is actually just craft stores. Like they have Joann's and Michael's and all that sort of stuff. But I have this white ceramic pot right here that's just a bit different in that it has like the little like indent in here um but i got this one and then i have like a unique shaped terracotta pot as well um, and they're both from joann's but yeah they're good pots and they don't have drainage either but i think that a lot of pots that you find at just random stores are not going to have drainage um so you're going to kind of have to improvise with that but it's kind of the cost that you pay for like finding unique planters um one place that does have unique planters occasionally um, that do sometimes have drainage is Walmart and Walmart at, the Walmart near me never has good plants they're all just like very dead basically they're not very good 
but they do have pots and my skindapsis is in a Walmart pot right here and it does have drainage at the bottom. So Walmart did have several sizes of these and I believe this one was the smallest one and this one just fits a six inch nursery pot in. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, it's got some wiggle room up at the top, but the bigger ones I found were a bit more shallow. Um, so they're just a bit wider than they were deep and they probably have enough room like root wise for about a six inch nursery pot. Um, so it's pretty much the same planting room for each one, but I really like the pot. I like the look of it. And this usually sits in like a little wooden stand. So it like, although it's not a very tall pot, it does like stand up a bit more too. And then another place you wouldn't expect to find pots is, well, I mean, we expect to find everything there, but if you have a hobby lobby near you, go and look at just the pottery and the like stands that they have, because they have a lot of plant stands as well. Um, but they have a lot of stands or things that you could use as plant stands. And I have two different sizes of these planters and they're just little metal ones. They do, they do have drainage. So that is something you can plant directly into if you're wanting to, they're metal. Um, and like I said, I have two sizes and I think they had several other bigger sizes as well. Um, but I just put my pots directly in here with something to stand on. So it's not like super deep in there, but, um, that was just something I found randomly at Hobby Lobby that I wasn't looking for. And I didn't even know that they would carry things like that. Um, but definitely check out your Hobby Lobby near you and they always have sales going on. So just find something that's on sale and then you can make it work as a planter. And then speaking of making things work as planters when they're not necessarily supposed to be, I have, um, we're gonna call it a pot because it looks like a pot from this angle, but I got it from Target and it's actually a cup. But if I put it that way, like nobody can like tell or even cares. Um, and it fits like a little three inch square pot in it about perfectly. Like it kind of sits on the sides and everything, but just things like that. You can totally find things that aren't necessarily meant to be pots, but they will work hundred percent as pots. It's kind of just like, you have to keep your eye out for it. This was in the video game section. Like it's not something that you necessarily like have to go into the designated sections for, uh, you just kind of have to know what you like and what you don't like. So if you find something then you're like, oh, uh, I think a plant would fit in there, put a plant in it because it doesn't really, like it doesn't matter. Nobody cares if it's an actual pot or not because if it looks nice, it looks nice and everybody thinks that. Going back to Walmart real quick, they actually have quite a few plant stands and um, just like taller planters. I have a plant stand sitting behind the camera actually that was about $12. It's just a wire one with like a marble top. And then I found this one, if I can carry it, I found this plant stand a couple months ago, maybe, and it was about $15. Um, and this one doesn't have, oh, it does have drainage. It has drainage, so you can plant directly into it, but it's again, uh, just a metal plant stand and my begonia is in it right now. Um, but it fits once again, um, I have a six inch nursery pot in there and it could probably fit a bigger one, but, um, yeah, it does have drainage, so you can plant directly into it. But these are things that like are super cheap at Walmart and like they're not the most sturdy necessarily, but they work and you can use them inside and it like, I don't know. You don't have to pay a lot of money to find nice things for your house. And the last one that I want to show to you guys is actually one that I'm super proud of and like excited about because I made it myself, but it's just kind of like you can make all these DIY planters as well and they can turn out really cute and work really well for your space. Um, but let me grab it and show you. So I've seen this idea all over Pinterest and Instagram and everything. And I know some people like make, like have a business doing it and making them, but I made a planter out of a basketball. So it's just a regular basketball and I cut a hole in the top and just attach some ropes and I fit a four inch pot in there, but it can be bigger, obviously, depending on how you cut the hole. Um, but it literally cost like $10 to make with everything. Cause it was a cheap basketball and everything was on clearance and everything. Um, but just like things like that, it doesn't have to be basketball. You can make it out of anything, but just, you kind of have to just be a bit more creative with it. Like if you want cool planters, you can make your own. Like you don't have to stick to whatever you can find in the stores. So those are some of my most favorite planters that I currently have and just some tips for finding planters that you like. And I hope it got some creative juices flowing so you can go out there and get some cool pots for your plants. But I did link a lot of these or similar ones in the description below. I have an Etsy link to products that I've liked and it's just, there's plant pots in there, some that I don't have, there's hangers, there's like little accessories for your plant pots, just a lot of stuff that I like anyways. 
um, and I thought you guys would like them as well, so that's below. And then just some specific links to pots and other things that I've just like actually bought myself. Um, I'll include those down below as well so you guys can see them and see if they work for your space. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit the like button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.